Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk 4712. And today we are going to talk about three important tips for the next three months of your gate preparation. Now, at any point throughout your preparation in the next three months, you will be balancing multiple things. Any exam preparation basically tests this only. How much you are able to manage your time focusing on different things. But at any particular month, you will be having only single prime target. So that should be your main focus and rest of the things should be balanced simultaneously. I'm going to talk about different things that you should be focusing on on different months so that you understand where you are and what you need to primarily do at that moment. So we are having November, December and January after which February you will be giving your gate examination then soon after there will be engineering services then most likely there will be BRC and multiple examinations a lot of you guys I know the mentality that gate examination is my last examination this is the end to all my examination solution to all my problems which is most of the time not going to be the case gate examination is not your last examination most likely it is your first examination to a series of examinations that you're going to give but it is also the examination at which point you will be done with your preparation for the first time after that you just solidify it hammer it again and again to do even better in the upcoming examinations so let us get into it without wasting any time first obviously the month of november what should be my prime focus in the month of november mainly you should be focusing on subject wise test series if you have not started it already this is the time get started you cannot delay it any further you won't be able to give that many subject wise tests in december or january because at that time you will be focusing mainly on full length test series there are other things also that you will be doing obviously you have not completed your syllabus yet so side by side maybe some of the major subjects or some of the minor subjects are going on you are doing it as well obviously the subjects which you have already completed the revision of those subjects will also be going on mainly these three things but main agenda should be your subject wise test series that is compulsory and through that you do your revision as well whatever subjects you have completed so far you do the revision using the subject wise tests and the main method would be cyclic revision about which i'm not going to talk again because we have already discussed that now let us get into the month of december now this is the time where you are gradually going to transition from subject wise test to your full length test and what is the main agenda for the month of december it is going to be working on your weaknesses like it should be written clear in big letters on your wall that this is the agenda of the month and in december it will be working on your weaknesses you want to improve your performance in the test that you are giving whether it is subject wise test or it is full length test by now you are having sufficient practice sufficient coverage of syllabus you should be focusing on your improvement there's absolutely no doubt that in january also you'll continue to improve but december is the time which should mark the beginning of your improvement other things that will be parallelly going on in december is obviously the full length test series but also some of you guys will be covering your minor subjects as well in the month of december but the prime focus will be working on your weaknesses now we are going to talk about what you should be doing in the month of January. The parallel or the side activities that you will be doing are revision and full length test series. But majorly what you are going to do, what is my prime focus Ashish? Your prime focus is going to be practice. That's it. Because ultimately you are appearing in an examination which is going to judge you on the basis of your ability of solving numericals and that requires a lot of practice. So if you have to ramp something up to a huge acceleration that is going to be practice practice as much as you can where should i practice from test series would be a good way which you are doing anyway with full end test series i've already talked about test series analysis which will give you an idea what are your weaknesses based on that you can give more subject wise test series which is again going to give you practice other things that you can practice with are star mark questions i never suggest people to go for those uh, question banks created by various coaching institutes always focus majorly on practicing previous year questions especially for the core field there are a lot of things that you can practice from gate engineering services psu 
ISRO and other examinations are also over there like even earlier civil services examination used to have technical question use those with my three years of experience of preparing for competitive examination I can say this without a doubt that even three years was not sufficient to solve them all properly but in case you are remaining with some time it is much better than giving a test series from some other coaching institute but major focus throughout the throughout your january month should be towards practice because that will increase your accuracy that will increase your speed that will decrease your silly mistakes other than that obviously revision will keep on going revision will be more focused towards the subjects that you're weaker at which you'll be finding out through your test series analysis now coming to the bonus tip which i've honestly not talked about in detail so far so what you should be doing by the end of december and in throughout the january part is yes full length test series is good but no full length test series is going to be exactly of the pattern of gate examination but there's one thing that will be and that is gate previous year questions ear voice and do not invest like 20 previous year questions throughout year wise but you can at least spend time towards five to six different previous year questions preferably selected past 2012 that would be good would be giving you good practice if you can take three hours of your time and invest it towards just solving it full-heartedly preferably in an online interface with an online calculator the second part of this bonus tip would be please solve isro previous year questions ear wise an exception to the last one this one i would suggest you to solve 100 percent of this from 2006 to 2020 as much as you can solve as much as it is possible for you because these questions you have not solved so far and these are available ear wise and these are like one mark questions that are available in gate examination sometimes even like two marks question level they are putting in just one minute one mark question pattern of isro examination so to do this first of all you'll have to be done with the syllabus so if you are done with the syllabus definitely do this please do not miss out on this one and that would be all that i wanted to discuss over here if you found it helpful hit the like button that certainly helps the channel if you have any questions put your questions down in the comment section i reply to each and every one of you and if you have any further suggestions of what kind of videos you want definitely suggest that down in the comment section as well that's about it guys i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye